Yeah. I mean, and this is not... He's an ornery is, bastard, is he, the, he's funny, too. Yes, I and mean, he's brave. Elon Musk, we showed you a portion of his interview with Jordan Peterson yesterday, uh, more so about uh, the transing of his son, who he now considers dead. I mean, it was, it was deeply, deeply, deeply disturbing. Uh, but then they did get into it about Donald Trump as well, and I think this is probably uh, the piece that you can all take with you. I, I think there's, there's something to be said that, you, you know, America needs a strong leader, and where the, that we have the perception of strength. Um, yeah. Now, um, you, you have to admire that, you know, Trump, after getting shot, um, yeah. with blood streaming down his face, it could have been a second shooter, who knows, um, nonetheless, uh, you know, was, was a fist pumping fight fight, yep. um, after being shot. Yeah. I mean, and this is not... He's an ornery is, bastard, is he, the, he's funny, too. Yes, and he's brave. He has yep. courage. Um, this is... You, this is instinctual courage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not calculated. It's yeah, not some right. ash, some arranged event. It's in the moment. Well, you can see that then, because that was not a time when you're. You good see at... true, true courage in the moment. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. And, um, and if if you want a leader who's going to deal with some very very tough cookies out there, um, who's going to you know deal with uh, with a Putin or a Kim, yeah. Kim Jong Kim Jong Un or you know uh, China, yeah, China or. Um, and uh, they will be in, they will be they'll think twice about messing with Trump yeah they'll think twice okay okay um, can, and, can, and, and poor poor Biden can't make it up the stairs and obviously he's, he's stepped out of the race but it's nobody's going to be intimidated by, by Biden it's, it's impossible um, but, so, but intim- I think they will be intimidated by a guy who was fist pumping after getting shot yeah, I know I say it all the time, but it's not just what he says, it's the way he says it. Like, there's a calmness there and, a, and just an obvious decency that I think also just makes what he says more valuable. And of course, the three things he said, that we want a strong leader. America wants a strong leader because when we exude strength, uh, that is good. It's not only good for America, but it's good for the world because we largely are good. We really are, and I know that a lot of young people, I guess, don't think that, or most of the Democrats don't think that, but it really is true. We, we have been and continue to be a, a force for the world that is good. I don't know how much longer that'll last if we get, say, a Kamala Harris, but having a strong leader, and then he, of course, talks about bravery and courage post-assassination and everything else. These are important things. These are the things that will correct all of the problems, and Trump is just the avatar for that right now, and those are things, I mean, imagine if all of us, if literally all of us, started being a bit more of a strong leader in our own world, whatever that was, or started being a bit more brave or a bit more courageous. You think the world would get better or worse? I'm pretty sure it would get better.